Hi everybody, it's uh, Richard here on a cold and gridlocked uh, Paris morning. Uh, I just had a great conversation with a client I wanted to share with you. Uh, the question he was asking was, uh, as my organization grows and we do the international expansion we want, how I'm so worried that it's going to become more bureaucratic and slower and less productive. Uh, how can we change that dynamic? Uh, perhaps you've had the same situation, right? How do you actually make it adding more people actually a good thing that accelerates business instead of the opposite? And um, what we really talked about was um, fully using the power of your people. And normally we don't, right? We have a couple of key people at the top and everybody else basically in implementation mode. So a few key people make all the decisions. Um, but actually, um, most people are just doing what they're told in, in a very significant way. Uh, I remember when I got married, somebody said to me, Richard, it's, don't worry. Right now it feels overwhelming, everything you need to do. But when you arrive the day before your wedding, suddenly you'll find you've got 50 people or whatever it is who are all eager to help and all eager to make things happen. And so I, we kind of talked about this. And I said, look, what I have to help people do is, is, is multiply the, that kind of fundamental understanding of the business and of the intent and, uh, and the key skills so that it's not just in the leadership team but it's everywhere in the organization. Um, there's a great video I'll share at some point about a, a US submarine captain who, uh, who decided to change the way he managed. He said, I'm never going to give another order apart from the order to fire because I want that for me. On my, on my conscience. But every other order is now going to be somebody else making the decision. And he said, in two years, we were the highest rated uh, submarine that they've ever seen in the US Navy. Why? Because he said, because we've got 136 brains focusing uh, on the outcome. And so I don't share what they need to do. I share my intent about where we're trying to go and why. And then uh, I equip them and empower them to make the right decisions. So here's my question today for you. Where is it where you need to release control and actually enable and give people the why and give people the, the context so that they can make the right decision? It can be scary, we feel they're not up to the task, we feel they've got their own agendas, but this is my challenge. Be brave today and find that area where you can 100x your brain power by actually uh, releasing control and actually harnessing the intelligence of those people around you.